the demons coming. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Michis Meikal, and this is Honzi, Rich and Lukash, and we are the CEO team. Uh, our, pro is, our project is called As Dark As It Can Get, and you will see that eventually it's dark, it gets really dark. For this project, we are looking for something where we could save some energy to Foxconn, and we found a uh, great potential in the fact that uh, there are over a thousand uh, ILs, people like us, and every single one of them has a monitor. And plus, there are over 60 telepresence devices. So whatever we find out, even if we were able to save the tiniest portion of the energy consumption, multiplied by a thousand times, that may something worth checking in. We had two theses. The first one was whether or not the content displayed on the monitor depends on whether the content is dark or white. What we were targeting are the crystals that are polarized. That's the layer, that's the first layer that you see on the screen. We obviously didn't focus on the back plates that are on the whole time. And the second thesis was that there is a standby consumption whilst the monitor is completely off. Now, uh, what that means is that you have to realize that each of those display devices have a power supply. And the power supply is behind it how can I show you? Um, can I turn it? It's a little bit. But that's the power supply that is behind the monitor that we were targeting in the second thesis. And if you have a look at this image, you'll see that's the layer of crystals. You can see the back plates in for these monitors that we were testing. There are LED streaks on the bottom and on the top. How to measure this, how to find out, how to get some hard evidence. We didn't want to put this on assumptions. We want to have something that we can really say that it's a fact. It's a fact. So we, were, we took five devices and we were measuring the inputting current. Plus, we did all the math necessary to calculate the power. And the first hypothesis was that the content for the IPS displays we're talking about 99% of displays used, displays, uh, used in Foxconn. And you can see that uh, there is virtually no dependence on the content. That's a surprise. So it doesn't matter whether your screen is completely dark or whether your screen is fully white. The change is only up to a 1%. That's not worth exploiting 1%. So we crossed the first thesis out. Uh, I just made myself a note that if we were using different technologies rather than the uh, IPS technology, like you may have OLED televisions at home or you have AMOLED displays on your mobile screens, the chart would look completely different. But for what we were focusing on, that was the uh, state this way. Now then, there was this second hypothesis which said that is there a consumption of the monitor? And yes, there is, and it is significant. It makes one-fourth of the whole consumption of the monitor. So it doesn't matter whether it's a standby mode or whether you actually physically hit the button on the monitor and it turns off, it still consumes energy. There's the power supply behind it, it's a pitch pop supply, it's basically on whether you like it or not. And that's what we were focusing on. If you were interested, we created a detailed technical report in Confluence where we state all the devices that we were measuring, the current, the, the recommendations, what to do, you will see it all in there in Confluence. Now, the real implementation, how to implement this? Well, 
as you may have gathered to yourself, uh, you just need to turn it out. So, as simple as it gets, we basically purchased these for the switch. As simple as that, we just turn the devices off. You can see that, for instance, this two-screen monitor consumes unbelievable 460 watts in active state, which is fine. But as you put it in standby, believe it or not, it consumes 120 watts. Well, to kill it with a switch, it's a one-click solution. It's zero. Your laptop with your power supply or even a docking station, it consumes 10 watts even though the monitor is physically off. A simple solution, I'll play it again, but it was really quick. And when you believe that you actually are saving the energy by putting it in standby mode, you actually leave it to consume 120 watts for the rest of the day, unless you actually turn it off. Having the monitors plugged in for the rest of the day, over the weekend and so on, by clicking just one button, <coughs> you have just saved money to Foxconn. And that's what exactly what we've done ourselves, just to prove it that it works. Now, uh, obviously, you can calculate the savings. Uh, a, there's a really low implementation cost. It's around about 100 crowns. Uh, it saves energy, and because the devices will not be plugged then that's obviously the uh, lower uh, risk of fire. Now we can see that the monitors, on average, 4 to 5 watts. Docking stations were a surprise. They consume 5 up to 6 watts, even though it looks completely dead. And telepresences, the average is 55 watts, but you have seen that the two-screen presentation uh, device uh, consumes 120 watts. If we calculate that, if everyone in Foxconn had this simple device, then we would be able to save for the price that will be valid from the uh, 1st January 2023, we would be able to save up to 400,090 crowns that would normally just go to waste so the devices are already off. So, thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you in...